Shalom. All praises goes to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Kodash. The bonus goes into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, from whom I learned the truth. Much love and peace and blessings goes out to all Yehovah elect brothers that are teaching the word. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, this will be a lesson or a quick video, and I'm gonna title this a quick word for uh, the believers, uh, starting with those those teach the you know the brethren of Great Millstone. That are suffering in this cold. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get straight into it with the scriptures. It says Hebrews two and nine. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor. Okay, this is Yahweh Shai who we see. This is Yahweh Shai who we believe in, and likewise for the brothers. And uh, that are experiencing these troubles due to the cold, inclement weather, you know, these freezing temperatures. Yahweh Shai suffered. He suffered an ultimate death. So we're, we should, we, you know, the most high in, in Yahweh Shai is with us, you know, because through suffering, Yahweh Shai was crowned, crowned with glory and honor. Likewise, we should have that same mentality to know that even though we are suffering in the flesh our brothers out there may you do may you that that you may be going through this suffering that you are going to be crowned with uh glory and honor so have hope in that it says that he by the grace of the most high should taste death for every man every israelite man it says for it became him for whom all things and by whom are all things and bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. You see? So we're made, Yahweh Shai was made perfect through sufferings likewise us. Just like uh, the scriptures tell you, Zechariah the 13th chapter, how we will be uh, purified through, through the furnace, in other words. So this, the furnace represents these uncomfortable predict. Um, Conditions brothers may suffer, you know, whether you be in the blistering cold or blistering heat, whether you be uh, stranded out the car, walking to and fro because you don't have transportation, uh, physical ailments, and the ultimate uh, is death, you know, sickness. But know that all these things, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai does this to make us perfect. He's doing this so we can be those vessels fitted for salvation all right this is james 5 and 16 confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much okay so the scriptures say that we are to pray one for another so likewise you know you brothers that may be listening or sisters uh pray for the believers out there that are experiencing the tr harsh times through this cold you know and, and in general, as well, you know, we are, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has commanded this of us. It says, the effectual prayer, let's read this last part again. The effectual prayer, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So let's go to fervent prayer. The effectual fervent prayer. It says energale. And that makes me think of the word energy. It says to be active, to be efficient, effectual, to be mighty in, to be operative, to be at work, to work for one, to display one's activity, to show one's uh, self operative. So basically, this is the opposite of not doing anything. You know, those fervent prayers may, may, means you do it consistently and you do it with belief. Okay, so it says it availeth much, meaning that you receive you receive your prayers. Your prayers actually come true. So it says here. It says to be able to prevail, to be whole, or to do something. Right, right. Meaning your your prayers, they're doing something. They're making things happen. When you pray and you're praying for brothers, they actually make things happen. They get things moving in the spirit world. You know, the prophets of old prayed for the people. All right. Like like Samuel, he prayed for the people. Okay. 
I can get that. This is uh, 1 Samuel 12 and 22. It says, For Yahweh would not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased Yahweh to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, meaning himself, meaning the prophet, the believer, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you, but I will teach you the good and right way. You see? So it was counted as sin, okay, in the eyes of the Lord to cease from praying. So we are not to stop praying. We are to pray consistently and constantly in the spirit, you know, for, for anything that we go through, for strength, for, for mental, uh, mental strength, physical strength, spiritual powers, deliverance, victories. We're to pray for all these things because that's what the Most High that's how he tests our belief, and that's how we show that we truly believe in, in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by speaking to him, because he is the invisible power, as the scriptures title the Most High as being invisible, even Yahweh Shai. We don't see him physically. We can't go and have a conversation with him, go somewhere, but we can in the spirit when we pray. You know, when you shut your door and you light incense or candles, and throw up those prayers for 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 the Akim, for our nation, for our sins, and repent in a repentant state, you know. So likewise, all these things apply, and I'm saying all this to say, uh, the prayer is very effective, and you know, I myself am praying for you brothers, or even you sisters that watch videos out there in Texas or whatever state you experience in blackouts, and you know, because look, the 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 hard times are are here. You know, I, I, I witnessed, a, 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 not witnessed, but I watched a testimony on the a brother's video, uh, the brother uh, Aitazaria, and uh, of what he of what he had to go through. Basically sitting in the cold in his house for three days, bundled up under blankets, fully clothed, you know, but the Lord is the Lord is with him. The Lord is with all, all the believers, you know, so all praises goes to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. By Shimra Kadash, the Lord will continue to get us through until the end. Shalom.